hill far away stood an old rugged cross, the emblem of suffering and shame. But I love that old cross where the dearest and best. Storing up for themselves the treasure of a good foundation for the future, so that they may take hold of that which is life indeed. Take hold of that which is life indeed. Now I'm reading from the New American Standard, and I think most up-to-date translations kind of translate it that way. Take hold of that which is life indeed. Life is not about what you have. Life is about what you are. The world we live in is becoming obsessed with virtual reality mm. because it allows people to escape reality. Yes. <laughs> virtual reality is not reality. It's like uh, we have so much reality television over here in the United States. There's very little real about reality television. Mm. It provides the experience. Virtual reality provides an experience without the reality. Right? Without any danger or consequence without the re without the reality mm -hmm. i can remember i can remember preaching about this years and years and years ago uh, i think back in the 80s when alice and i had the opportunity we went to we went to uh, what's that place disney world ah, yes. Epcot. and we went on one of these rides where i mean they're so realistic you know you get in and they close the doors and the the machines move around and it's like it's like being in an airplane right uh, there's, a, there's a movement and you see the pictures and it, you walk off and you've had the experience but you haven't had the reality I want to tell you that most of what I see going on in the Christian church today is virtual reality yes. it's not reality it's not the real deal or you may win and it may look like it it may even sound like it it may talk like it but it's not the real deal virtual reality it's, it's the thing of the day. It's what's going on in this age. And I'm going to tell you, that's what you'll find in the Church of Laodicea. Yes. The Church of, the Laodicea, Church of Laodicea in Revelation chapter 3. It talk, the people there, the assembly of people there. I'm not going to, you know, that word church is a little iffy there. It's an assembly of people. Mm -hmm. But it's not a church. It's not a true church. They haven't gathered in the name of Jesus Christ. He's not even there. They may be singing the songs. I'm sure they are. If they're, if they're saying we're rich, we have need of nothing, I'm, I, they probably got great music. They probably have lots of professional musicians mm -hmm. singing lots of songs. But is it praise? Praise to who? The one that, that's locked outside the door? Because Jesus said he was outside the door, standing there, knocking. He wasn't in their midst. He wasn't in their midst. So what they're having is a, a virtual reality experience. And, you know, I, I don't want to sound judgmental, but this is true. Alice and I, in our travels, I mean, we've gone to a lot of churches around, around the country and around the world. And I can remember we were somewhere in the Midwest, I think, and we went to a large church. And when we came out of it, no, this was in the Carolinas, I think. It doesn't matter. Yeah. In we came. We went into this church, and it was one of the large churches. Many, 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 many people. So you don't actually get to interact. You don't interact with the other people. And when we came out, and it was a, as I recall, it was a reasonably good sermon. There was nothing wrong with the sermon. They had, you know, nice up to date music. But the fact is, I said we didn't have. That wasn't fellowship. That wasn't church. That was an experience. It was like going into a movie theater. If you go into a crowded movie theater. And you're all watching the same movie. When you come out, you haven't had fellowship. You've had a shared experience. You've had a shared experience. Mm -hmm. Okay. You've had virtual reality. Mm -hmm. This is so important in this day and age when everything becomes fabrication. Everything becomes about the image, not the substance. It's such an important topic, particularly in these perilous last days. Because Satan who is a liar by nature and the father of lies, who would make himself like the Most High God. It's all image without the substance. He can't do anything for you. He cannot. And all he desires to do is to keep you away from God, to keep you separated from God. 
Life is not about what you have. Life is about what you are. And the devil is trying above all to convince you that you are the church, the believer of God, without having a right relationship with God the Father through Jesus Christ. Virtual is an adjective. It means almost or nearly as described, but not completely or according to strict definition. Almost a particular thing or quality. Almost, nearly, but not completely.